Um, my name is Salim Vuria. I'm the area manager for plan in quality development area. Uh, my my core responsibilities as, as an area manager is to provide uh, leadership to, to the quality team in both uh, program issues and also operational issues within the organization. Uh, this week we have been uh, here uh, in a workshop uh, which we've been focusing mostly on issues of ICT for development and particularly what we've been learning here is, is the issue of, of mapping. We've also learned uh, Mushahidi, we have also learned uh, from our colleagues in Kilifi on MGESA uh, and basically we have been looking at uh, you know this workshop as providing opportunities for using ICT for development but more particularly for us uh, in Kuala is the issue of child protection and youth governance. Yeah, the, the, the ICT in, in Kuala has, has a bit of a long history and it's because of the, the issues on, on child rights. Kuala has a number of issues on, on, on child marriages, uh, issues of violations of child rights through sexual exploitation uh, and quite a number of issues around child poverty. So the efforts to, to do media in, in Kuala started in 2003 when we, we rolled out our, our first video that was done by children that time to, to profile actually some of the issues on child marriage. Uh, but more importantly, in 2005, we began to, to think greatly how we can bring the voices of, of children to, to duty bearers. And at that time, we thought of having a children's community radio. Uh, and because of lack of experience, we were thinking maybe at the end of that year we could launch you know, the radio station. Uh, but then it, it took longer than we envisaged because we needed to roll out a participatory process. Alongside the same time, we had ideas on community-led birth registration, which was being done in one community-based organization. Uh, but later, we also thought of maybe looking at how ICT can help us in, in moving that direction. Uh, then we also had this idea of intergenerational dialogue where children, youth can sit with, with, with duty bearers and discuss critical issues affecting them. So we began using youth and video, children and video, and showing those videos in a community meeting where then people could discuss the issues. Uh, alongside the same time, we're also partnering with various media houses, uh, rolling out radio programs that people could listen and, and also uh, foster some discussion with children. So it's been a long journey, but I think what, what we are seeing is that uh, we need now to, to consolidate the gains, the experiences and the efforts so that then we can have a more strategic approach to ICT for development. And this workshop basically provides us with a platform and opportunity for us to think much more. I see great potential in, in some of the tools that have been uh, learned here this week, uh, more particularly to uh, get information at the click of a button from the ground. Uh, information, for example, on, on we could use the tools to map out resources out in the community. We could also use the tools to map out uh, zones that we consider to be having a lot of issues on child protection. We could also map uh, areas that we, we have maybe issues like low birth registration. Uh, so there's, there's great potential actually for the tools that we have learned here to assist us in not only in, in planning for projects but in, but in issues also of social accountability. Like for example, if you map out the areas where we have projects for constituency development fund, uh, you, you can easily see you know, where we have projects that have been done well but where we also have projects that maybe communities may need to discuss much more uh, with duty bearers to, to be able to, you know, foster issues of social accountability.
uh, one, 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 one thing that uh, we have been learning in, in the process, uh, you know sometimes we, we have ideas that we think can work in the next week. Uh, like for example the children's community radio, when we were you know, thinking about it, we could think that it could take off after two months. Uh, but what we learned is that there are processes to be involved. Communities have to be prepared well for sustainability. Children have to be trained, they have to have the capacity building uh, required. Uh, you have also to conform to government uh, procedures and processes. Uh, the same also with the birth registration. We thought in six months we could uh, immediately send an SMS and, and, and get your birth notification. But what we all have also learned is that it takes a process, it takes a while. You have to get the government buy-in, uh, where you have also uh, to work on, like now we are working on the software, which the government is having a critical input because although it is a pilot, uh, we also think if it works well, then it needs to be replicated. So it has to conform with the thinking in government. And also, uh, now particularly on the issues of, you know, youth and media, uh, one thing that has to be very clear is, is that you have to get youth who are committed. So you can begin with a bigger group, but uh, you end up with those who are passionate. So I think it's very critical when somebody is thinking about ICT for development. One, looking at the context, is it relevant to that area? what kind of skills are needed, what kind of processes for sustainability, but also getting the passion, people who are passionate uh, to lead the process is also a very critical lesson.